Hello, my name is Alice and for those of you that don't know me, I am 21, I study pharmacy in Coleraine and I belong to Rafaux Presbyterian Church. Um, I've been following along with your Bible reading and joining the Zoom calls on a Sunday night and I've been really enjoying it. Um, so thank you for having me so long. And I've been asked to share a wee reflection on Matthew chapter 19. And I suppose Firstly, seeing divorce, I thought, oh, I don't know how this really applies to me. Um, but taking the chapter as a whole, the underrunning theme for me has been about relying on God and leaning totally on what he says, um, despite our own selfish desires. And the first little heading of divorce um, is applicable to us all, no matter what our life circumstances are, um, because it's yes a valuable lesson about divorce but it's not just about that um for me what i saw when i read that passage was that the pharisees wanted to trick jesus they wanted to catch him out they wanted to find a loophole and so often we are looking for loopholes as well and um, they knew fine rightly that divorce wasn't in god's plan for us and um, they knew full well that that's not how god had created the world it's not how he created man and woman to live um but they also had found um, a little a little loophole, if you want, um, in the Old Testament that, that said a man could divorce his wife. And I suppose that's a reflection of, of the world we live in today. Um, we live in a sinful world and we have laws that reflect the sinful people that live in that world. Um, and I suppose just because we're living um, you know, as law-abiding citizens here on earth um, doesn't mean we're living as citizens of heaven and um, we need to rely really closely on what God says for our lives um, because he knows what's best for us and um, we need to live as children listening to their father um, you know, you show your father respect and, and love by um obeying the the rules that are set out to protect you um, you know you wouldn't run across the road um, in the middle of traffic because your father knows that that's not good for you um, that that's a very dangerous place for you to be as a small child in the middle of a busy road um, so as a child you listen to those things as a child you recognize why you need to listen to those um, pieces of advice those um, instructions. So um, in verse 14 um, Jesus says, let the little children come to me, do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Um, we need to live with childlike faith and and really cling on to um, our Father in heaven, obeying what he says um, in our lives and and yeah, really go into him as our source of, source of strength and encouragement as well. Um, and then finally, the last um, heading in my Bible is talking about a rich young man. Um, and I get the character impression that this man is a wee bit arrogant. Um, you know, he says, teacher, um, how do I get eternal life? And and Jesus replies saying, you know, you need to honour all of my commandments. You need to obey um, all of these. And the man kind of replies like, which ones? Which ones do I need to um, obey? And and the answer is all of them. Um, but the man replies going, yeah, I've kept all those. Yeah, I'm doing great. Um, what's next? And And we know that that's really hard. Like, yes, he might have kept all the rules but um was his heart in that place of being a citizen of heaven um and then continuing on um it says that he's really wealthy um obviously and jesus answered if you want to be perfect go and sell your possessions give them to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven then come follow me um what the man was really reluctant to do this because he relied on his on his wealth, on his stature, um, you know, to carry him in life. And and Jesus told him to give this all up, um, to stop relying on his own on his own wealth, on his own um strength, 
and yeah just trust in him completely um which is a lesson for all of us um it may not be great wealth it may not be great authority um but so often we try to go on our own strength um and we think you know maybe we're not doing too bad um but it only takes something very small to remind us that um our strength is nothing in compared to god and and yeah the way that he can help us in our lives in ways that we can't even imagine um so yeah um i hope you find encouragement in this and i hope that you continue to keep going with the bible reading plan um and yeah bye